Hi everyone. Welcome to Zynard's NEET PG information series. All India mob of counseling has started and you would have started registering and uh, filling your choices. Uh, in this video, we'll take you through how Zynard can help you in uh, filling your choices as well as uh, deciding on institutes based on fees, type and bond and what other information is available in Zynard to help you make uh, the right decisions during choice filling. So uh, as you enter Zynard, You'll have the you'll see the need PG tab uh, if you have subscribed for need PG and you'll have these uh, tabs listed down. So under one of these tabs, uh, each one of these tabs, you will have a lot of information that will help you cho in choice filling. We'll start with the seat matrix information. Uh, the seat matrix information uh, is uh, has been updated for All India mop up and under uh, All India counseling. If you select All India counseling and you select uh, round three, you will have a complete list of seats that are available in all india round 3 and you know that uh, all india round in all india round 3 seats that belong to a particular category and are not opted by any candidate within that category will be converted as per the conversion logic and allotted to other category candidates therefore you would be seeing all seats which belong to any category in your choice list Except for OBC, for which the conversion is not happening, uh, MCC has uh, intimated to a few candidates that OBC seats are available only for OBC and no conversion would happen. And you're not seeing them in the choice list as well. But all other category seats are seen by everyone. So let, uh, let's say you are AAQ plus, uh, you have selected a All India Quota, DNB, and, uh, and DNB in your uh, registration. So you will be seeing the entire list of All India Quota, DNB and NBE Diploma seats that are available during choice filling. And if you belong to uh, Gen, Gen, P, Gen category or any category, you will be seeing all these choices except for OBC choices. So OBC candidates will be seeing all the choices. Now the number of choices that you see will be a little lesser than this because uh, the number of records here that reflect will have one seat, uh, the number of seats under gen category and the number of seats under C category. So, uh, and this uh, will be e one separate record each in under Zyner. But when you fill your choices, it will show as a single choice. Therefore, don't go with the number of records here. You will see 2,794 choices as of now, I guess. This may change in case there are increase in seats, but 2,794 choices are the number of choices and most likely it would remain the same. Uh, for any candidate other than an OBC candidate. And uh, now, once you get into this uh, seat matrix, you have the complete list of uh, choices that you have sorted by their closing ranks. So if you want to look at the closing ranks of choices, uh, only for gen category first, uh, I, will, I, I would like to see only for gen category so that I'm clear that these are the closing ranks and preference orders of all institutes uh, or seats. I would filter it on gen and then look at all the uh, allotments, seats available under MS General Surgery and their closing ranks of the previous year sorted in order. So out of all the seats that are available under Gen category, this is the closing rank of all the seats. So uh, you will be able to filter these out based on uh, different uh, uh, parameters. You, If you want to filter it out for a particular state, you're only looking at uh, Tamil Nadu. You can filter it out based on Tamil Nadu. If you're only looking at Maharashtra seats, you can filter it out based on Maharashtra seats. You'll be seeing the 2020 closing ranks. And also you would be, and you would also be seeing the 2021 round one, round two closing ranks in the order of allotment. Uh, note that all seats, there have been, uh, there have been no seat additions. So all seats would have been allotted in round one or round two under gen category. But there may be additional options too, which belong to the gen PH, SC, PH, uh, SC category, STPH, if you are a general category candidate. So you may have to select these choices as well. You will be seeing these choices as well. They may not, uh, this may not reflect the exact closing rank preference order in comparison with your general preferencing preference order, but you will have to take a decision on where to fit in these choices in case you are looking at it. Now, all this information is just to give you a base on what, where uh, institutes or seats closed for a particular specialty, but Further evaluation can be done taking this as a base because it is not necessary that the preference order of some other candidate needs to be your preference order. But this will give you a start to look at your preference order for filling choices during All India mop up. Uh, a simple example would be let us say I'm taking the example of a state of Assam and I'm not sure 
uh, in Assam. Uh, I'm not sure what is the usual preference order in Assam under general surgery. I would pick up Assam general category, gen category seats, and then I will see that there are closing ranks uh, in order of uh, preference. So here you can look at certain seats which you may not be sure about uh, which ones are better uh, because their closing ranks are very near. But usually uh, this there will be a uh, order at least for you to know that Silchar is always preferred first by candidates and you can see that across different uh, rounds across different sessions as well. So this will give you a fair idea but beyond that you will have to work out and evaluate on these institutes uh, from other information. Now, uh, this is a seat matrix for All India mop-up that uh, uh, will help you in getting a base for your preference order in case you don't have any information or you don't have much information or you want to confirm the already uh, the information that you already have. Second is a fee stipend and bond details. Uh, this fee stipend and bond details are available for every institute across India, except for very few private institutes. We have been able to upload the information for every institute. As far as deemed is concerned, we have uh, got all the information except for a few courses in one institute, which is ACS. But in most other institutes, uh, almost 95 to 99% of information is available across all other institutes course-wise. So if you want to select a particular institute, such, let's say see Ramachandra uh, Medical College, and you would like to know the course uh, fee for a particular category of seat that is available here, you will also see whether the, the institute has a bond or penalty. Similarly, in certain states, if you uh, if you want to see the states which have a particular bond, let's say states which have only one year bond, uh, uh, states which have no bond, etc., you will be able to filter it out based on what type of institute it is. Uh, so if I want to look at all government institutes and I want to look at institutes where there is no bond, you will be having a list of institutes which have no bond. You can see West Bengal where only one institute doesn't have a bond being a central institute. And in Maharashtra, similarly, Andhra Pradesh, there is no bond across any institute. Gujarat, there is no bond for AAQ. And if you further go into view details, you will be able to see uh, details of what is a penalty, what is a stipend, and uh, uh, if there is any specific information, for instance, here it mentions for state quota, there is a bond of one year or 40, 40 lakhs, whereas there is no bond for all India quota. So this information is available. You also have the uh, stipend details which are available here for each institute. You will be able to click on uh, the institute name and you will be able to see the stipend details as available in MCC. And this will give you an idea of uh the bond across institutes this is also available for all courses for instance if you want to look at diploma in anesthesia and you want to look at a, a particular state uh, in uh, anesthesia and want to find out the bond and diploma in anesthesia in these states there are no there is no bond in private institutes uh for dnb and uh, in any state there's no bond for private institutes at all uh, across dnb across india so only government institutes may have a bond so you can check on which government institutes have a bond uh, as far as dnb is concerned i select on nba government institutes and you will be able to see tamil nadu has a two-year bond for dnb institute uh, dnb courses so this information will help you in defining your bond fee and what is a penalty if you look at uh, uh, click on this you will also have the penalty details seat leaving penalty is 15 lakhs as what is mentioned so this will give you an idea of uh, the fee stipend and bond details which will help you in counseling we also have the allotment mapping feature go through the other youtube videos we'll share the link here which will help you find out uh, the number of uh, seats uh, the number of uh, candidates who have been allotted in all india around two who have not been admitted these may be competition for you uh, who have been admitted or not competition and how many of them are allotted in round twos of state counselings. So this will uh, tell you the complete list of candidates who may not compete with you. If you fill in a rank range, let's say you are within rank 1500, you will know that out of uh, 1500, out of 85 candidates who register, who were allotted in All India Round 2 and did not get admitted, which was 85 candidates, uh, you have around 62 candidates having some sort of some admission allotment in a state round two institute this will give you a fair idea of the competition that may exist these candidates if they don't get admitted then they may still come into all in uh, mop up and look for uh, a different seat if they don't get admitted they are eligible for sure but if they are allotted uh, it there is a high likely chance and you can see that there might be uh, these candidates may move to state round two and therefore may not competition may not be uh, competing for the uh, 
seats in all india mop up so this will give you a pretty fair idea of what the competition is this is not required for state uh, uh, choice filling and we would suggest that you don't look at it now at all but still this is a feature that may help you uh, define your possibilities but don't limit your possibility uh, choices based on any possibilities fill in all the choices that you wish to join irrespective of whether they belong to a different category or not even if it is not a gen category choice and there is very less ch chance of a gen ph clinical seat getting a top level clinical seat getting converted don't worry about it still fill it in your cho choice list as per your order fundamentally every choice that is available in your choice list can be allotted to you forget whether the possibility of that seat being allotted is one percentage or 99 percentage or 100 percentage fill the choice in the order of your preference don't worry about which category the seat belongs to so with that uh, We'll end this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please share it with others. The subscription plans are mentioned in the for uh, Zainad or uh, uh, an EPG website access are mentioned in the description. In case you have not subscribed it uh, to avail this feature, you can subscribe and then uh, fill your choices using the information that is available. Thanks a lot.